Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how I set up the slick slider. In the previous video, we learned how we can add it, but there was some bug on that and I fixed it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I did it and so that you can understand how you can customize your slider. So let's check out how it is going to look now. Currently, it is not loading most of the style. These are designing like a big slider here. If I refresh the page, it shouldn't happen because this stuff should not be this much big. I will design it and customize it better. But for now, I did it for a reason of how you can display multiple options for a product. I will talk about that in the next video, but for now, here is the slider. So basically, uh, our slider that break in the previous video, it missed the CSS one. So you have to add the slick slider CSS if you want the basic design for this one. Currently, it does not have those arrows here. You can add those arrows and bring them to design. But for now, it does not have. So I click on the image, that's why it opened it. So let's see how I can fix this one and how I added this navigation here at the bottom. This navigation is linked to our slider here. So if I come to my code here, let's check out. First of all, in the app that is CSS, I have added my CSS for this link. Just add this one and the source code is on GitHub. You can access it, this code. This is just adding the CSS. There are some themes also you can install it. And it will give you a little design for this link. But you can customize it yourself. It is quite easy. For the JavaScript part, here is our first slider. So this is the product slider. And this is infinite true. It means it will have infinite scroll and the arrows are false because it is not showing the arrows. You can make it true and design it. I didn't design it. That's why I made it false. So it should not show it. It will take a little time to design. Now, how many slides to show? One. Now, if I come to this one, this is our slider. It is showing one slide at a time and it is it has the infinite scrolling. So if I scroll to the left or right, it has this swipe also. It, it has infinite one. So how about this slider down there? This is going to show the, the above image but in a small size so the people can navigate through this one. It is a nice feature like most e-commerce websites have. For that one, you have another slider. So this is the nav bar. If I check out the code here, this is the main slider which is showing the images and the size of those images are 800 by 600 uh, because it is going to crap it and to the center it means it will crop from top and bottom and left and right and just remain the center of the product for me it works fine but mostly for the clients that you have you have to tell them how like how your uh, product image should be like you cannot guess how their product will be displayed and then you can crop it because some products i have seen they are displayed at the bottom of the page so if you crop it in the center then the product will be gone from here that's why it is important for the user itself to make those images and how they are going to display it. For me, most of the time, I make it uh, to display master. Master will display the full size of it. But for now, it is just fine because I'm not doing that. And this is the slider, the navigation slider. It is going to be the same, but here is the class and it will display the images, but this time smaller size and it will crop to the center also. 200 is too big, but I give it a width of uh, 50 pixel. The reason for that is because it should be a high quality image, but the size should be small. If I crop it like 40 as a width, it will display in low quality images. That is not nice. That's why I added like that. Maybe you can make it smaller or better. I will show you the resources, how you can design it in a future video. For now, that's it. And that's how you can create a navigation slider. So coming to the JavaScript part. It has also infinite true, arrow false, shoot three of them. This is how you can connect them together. Uh, just write the nav here called as a nav for and then you can reference your another slider. This is nav for this slider. And they are linked together. For the other one, you can add the same thing. And if I come to he come here, imagine if you, you had like 10 images. So if you scroll through here like that, it would scroll this one also because they are both connected. But for us, it has three images. That's why it is not showing. So that is really important. For example, if I come here and make it two, it should compile down. Yeah, don't forget this one. Currently, the compiler is not running in the background. So uh, you should always remember to run npm, run watch to compile all your code, and then theme watch to upload them to the server. But for me, you know the basic of the 
setup we had so that's it for this video i hope it has been informative in the next video we will work on the add to cart and this is this is very complex here so first we will do the basic one and then we will focus on the ajax request also thank you for watching i will see you in the next video